Hey YouTube, how you doing? I got the alternator off the uh, 84, 250, 300. I don't, I never get to highlight this thing too much. I uh, kind of have a lot to say about my diesel, my 6.9. I don't, yeah, show much of this. Um, what I'm doing here that the alternator is out of the way. It went bad in the process of changing it. I've been wanting to get this bracket off of here for the uh, emissions pump here for a while. A couple of years. And I just haven't done it because of the dig. Oh yeah, all the digging involved to get it. Well, now the alternator is out of my way. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And I think I got the right bolts here. It looks like it. Um, this was set up as a Canadian uh, emission system. And this just isn't needed for this. I've done away with a lot of it already in the past years. That's that. And uh, this thing's right when, you know, when it works right. You don't even need emissions on this thing. Not really. There's nothing to it, you know. It's just overkill. Ugh. This bracket here being in the way, just, it's in the way, not doing nothing. Um, and I'm also trying to come up with a lift point, because I will have to take and lasso this motor. I have to lift it about a foot or so. Give me a minute. Um, I got to do oil pump and bearings on this. It didn't completely fail, but I'm getting scared of it. Okay. Oh, got to watch. Got to watch. Here's a vacuum line that will no longer be needed. I got to cap that off somewhere or something. Wow, look at the room I'm making here. Wow. <laughs> now, no, no, no new parts here. This isn't going back. This is going to be nice to work on. Really nice. Don't need none of it. Um... I got some more cleaning to do. Got a lot of grime down down in there. Sorry about my finger getting away. This is loose. Got to tighten that up a little bit. Yeah, I got some more cleaning to do. And get in there and work. I don't know. I don't like that. Wow. Um. Yeah, I got everything in the way here. I can't pull, I can't just drop that pan and uh, work on it. I have to pick up the motor. I have to figure out a way to lasso it. And then what I was hoping to do is change this ignition system, that distributor. Do away with a lot of that mess of wires. And change this ignition system over to the DuraSpark on this because uh, the one I have is misbehaving. Here's the distributor for it. Um, salvage yard. And I got the box. 
the uh, control box. Don't know if it's any good, but it's something to go by if I have to get a new one. Say. And I've got the wiring. This is my jug of cleaners. Cleaning for that grease. Uh, my wiring. I'm all tangled up here already. There's a little bit of it. coil that right there is a uh, temperature gauge which I'm not going to use okay I don't think and this plugs into the distributor itself That was something else that was already clipped. This is your power. This is this is one of your power power lines with the um, that fusible link. We used to call them the shunt back then. Okay, uh, and your um, one of the, this one plugs into your computer. This one here plugs into your other wire harness, which is over here, right? Yeah, I probably have it in the back. No, it's in the other toolbox yet. No, it's in the other toolbox. No, it's right here. Plugged in. Okay. Okay. Yeah all plugged together all I have to do is take and and, and um, pull this up in the book and look it over and see what's supposed to do what now one of these wires it was this one here strange it came in it went in from out from uh, inside. It plugged into a harness, and then another wire joined this and ran back to the back. Now, that's strange. I got to figure that out. It is. It has. Let me see. It has a stripe on it. It's like an orange red line. And is it solid or does it have a stripe? With a white stripe. So, yeah, I got all this stuff here to figure out before I tackle this. And I think once it's, yeah, once I get it figured out, I think it's going to be real easy. And I got some more odds and ends. These can get out of here. These don't have to be inside. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, bell housing, motor mounts. Everything has to be disturbed just to lift it a, about a foot. Unbelievable. So, all right, just throwing you a video <laughs> just to have some fun I guess